and everyone. In the previous lectures, we discussed about the importance of query log and the structures of different levels of abstractions of query log model. And we discussed about data thread model and data flow model, how to write the query log code. Now, in this lecture, we'll discuss about the basic main important combination set. We'll call it as a full adder. Full adder circuit. We'll discuss about the full adder. How, how can you model the very log? Uh, how to download the very log code for this full adder? And how to test this particular functionality of the full adder by writing this, writing its history. So we need to know the expression for this one is the sum produced by the combination such as sum equal to a x r, b x r, c, and c out equal to a b plus b c plus c. So depend based on this, we will draw the structure like b input uh, x r b g e. And three and gates, two input three and gates, and connected with R D. This is a simple structure. Otherwise, we can use the two. We can design the full ladder by using two of headers. Yeah, like that, we can design it of adder uh, full adder with the help of two of adders. Now, by for these two expressions, we'll write the very log code. We'll see how to develop the very log code and how to verify the functionality of the basic component in the digital circuits that is a full adder. Okay. Now the first one is we need to write module, module name and giving the ladder, then module name for this input sir, I'm giving a color one bit inputs e comma sum comma c. In module next. We need to specify the inputs input a comma b comma c output some comma c if you want to specify the comments we can write like this two slashes input terminals input terminals and here we can write like that we can define so in order to understand the, the third party person can understand easily now when you mention the uh, terminal uh, comments so now here i'm using the data flow model as a sum equal to a which is a boolean operator a xr b xr c this is called here boolean operator uh, that will perform the xr operation so parallel i'm explaining the how to use the boolean operators in the piloting the particular model so as a design c out which is equal to first a b a and b a ampersand this is a boolean and an r operation with b ampersand c r operation with E. So here for simplicity, I'm adding the brackets to this to avoid the confusion about how that will perform the operation. So 
So this is the simple full ladder for further very large model for the full ladder circuit. Now continuously we will write the test bench in the same module file. Test bench module. Ladder underscore TV inputs are printed with the rays while lighting the test bench. A comma B comma C. The outputs will be printed with the help of Y, Y, y data type with the sum comma C. So here there is no clock under that, so no need to declare any clock directly. We can uh, specify initialize the input in here. For that, we need to use the initial statement. This will perform only one time execution. For that purpose, we are going to use the initial. For each and every initial contains one begin and end. If you are writing only one statement, then no need to write the begin and end. We can directly write the particular state. Here I am writing the different kinds of state. That's why. I'm using beginner here. So A equal to. So here three input means we'll get the eight combinations. A equal to zero. B one. You see that this is the number representation. One tick B zero. When one represents the how many number of bits after B, where B represents the binary number. C equal to one tick B zero. So I will copy this. Other is this. This is then delay for the one line to the next line. We are specifying the delay as 100 nanoseconds. Copy paste. So for time being, I'm doing the copy paste of inputs. Zero, zero, one, 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 zero, and one, one, one. So this is in zero, this is in one, this is in two, three, four, five, six, seven. So with this the initialization of inputs over at n module. Now what is the mistake here? So what is the mistake here? So we need to specify which one we are going to verify. So I'm going to verify the functionality of this particular full ladder. So I'm using it as a unit under test here. We are going to test that particular module for that we'll call it as a unit under test. Unit under test. So here we can write A, B, C in someone. This is in same order of this is an order of instantiation. In the this step is an instantiation. Instantiation of the test module. So we are going to verify the functionality of this module. We can it in here instantiation. This with this we completed the testing part. This is in zero, this is in one, this is in two, three, this is four, this is five, six, and this is in seven. So zero to seven is in different kinds of input signals for that. Now we'll verify the functionality. Now, first of all, we need to save this particular file. Save as.
full order dot me and save next we need to save the test bench also save as full order underscore e dot me save now we need to add it to the project so now select right click add project existing files browse wherever you store we need to select that files so i am i'm going to compile full adder tb so that's why i'm selecting the full adder tb so came here so in order to test that one we need to compile the original program also for that we need to add that particular full adder also add project existing file full adder open and click on ok so now here full adder tb is there here full adder is there so right click compile compile selected There is no error. It gave a green color check mark, so there is no error. So next, we need to check the error test bench. Compile, compile, select. So in that also there is no error. So next, open the library. In that work folder, we need to open the error test bench. Right click. It will take some time. So click on the full adder TV, right click, add name, will add it here. So click on run sim. So automatically everything appeared here. So this is an 0, 0, sum 0, carry 1. This is an A0, B0, C in 1. So we'll get sum 1, carry 0. So next. Next is an input, sir. Zero. Next input is an zero, one, zero. We'll get some one and carry zero. Next one, 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 zero, double one, zero. So sum is an zero. Sum is zero now, carry equal to one. So similarly. The final one, all ones, someone, carry one. So like this, we can write the uh, in for any kind of get get logic circuits. We can write any. We can develop the very large model. And we can we can verify the test. We can verify the functionality of the design by writing the test bench. So in the next video, we'll see how to write the very large code for the other kind of adder by design by using this particular full adder how to design the. 10 bit or 4 bit triple carry adder and how to test that particular module. Thank you.